if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell symbol. That will give you notifications of when I post my videos so you guys can like it, share it, love it, like it, and all the good stuff. So don't forget to click on the bell, turn on your notifications of when I post my videos. Okay, let's turn the clip on. Let's go. What is up you guys? So it's awesome, eh? And I'm here to bring you a new YouTube video on my channel. And in this video, I'm trying to be going for a, the deatomizer. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a nuclear attachment you can get on your gun that you unlock with a certain um, uh, version of the gun. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas Eve or Christmas, whenever this video goes up. I hope you guys are having a good day, basically. All you beautiful, loving sloths, I hope you guys are having a good day. Life is too short to waste. So, speaking of life is too short to waste, since I just said that, uh, this commentary is going to be basically about the time I almost uh, got shot or almost got jumped, basically. So, it was a couple months back. I was at my mom's house and I was recording for a video and I was recording some game footage. And my, I guess, my remote ran out of batteries and I went to my mom's and I got my, no, I didn't get my license. Yet. It was like a day after. And I was like to my mom, hey, can I just go drive? Because there's a store right by my mom's house that's about like two minutes away. It's legit right across the street. And I was like, mom, can I drive your car there to go pick up some batteries? I'll pay for everything by myself. She's like, no. And we got in an argument. And she's like, Austin, well, since you run fast and you're able to run for a long time, long periods of time, I was like, why don't you go <laughs> run there? And I'm like, I was like, okay, whatever. Because I, I need to get the video up for you guys so you guys are entertained. So you guys aren't just standing there in the middle of the desert dehydrating, okay? My videos are your guys' water. You guys can't live without my videos. It's just like that, you guys. I'm sorry. But, and I was like, okay, so I ran there. I ran there, got my stuff ready, put on a jacket because it was really cold, got my money and everything, so I went down because she lived in an apartment, so I went downstairs, and I was like, okay, so I started jogging there, listening to some music, some speeches and everything, and I got there, and I didn't know where the batteries were, so I asked one of the managers, and I was like, okay, so I got the batteries, I went to, to check out, got it checked out and everything, and then... So this is where that this is where it all comes in place, okay? So if you guys know like some uh grocery stores, they may have like on the parking the parking spots where whole lines, white lines that basically shows like this is where the pedestrian walks. And usually the pedestrians usually have the right of way. In my case I did have the right of way of walking straight on the crosswalk basically. And so I was turning on my music, getting my speech ready, and it was probably about like a quarter, probably a little over a quarter of a mile from the apartment to the store and the store back to the apartment. And I was walking uh, through the parking lot, and then out of nowhere, these two guys in this car just come speeding around the corner. You're supposed to be going like five to three miles per hour in a parking lot usually. And this guy is going at least 20 goes around the corner and I'm walking minding my own business but I turn on a song and I keep in mind I was a little mad because my mom we just had an argument and everything and I was on my phone and the these two guys legit almost hit me and they and I don't know how they didn't see me I was wearing white and bright blue it's like how do you not see me like come on so I basically looked like a blue traffic cone basically like how can they not see me and so they come right around the corner and they almost hit me and they stopped luckily about eight to five feet and I just stand there and I stare at them for like three to five seconds and I start walking away and so these two guys pulled up right behind me and then uh, the driver seemed from what the driver did he seemed like responsible and everything but the passenger on the other hand he was like don't act like you're not gonna do anything and I was like what do you mean you almost fucking hit me sorry for my cussing but he, I was like, you almost hit me. Come on, dude. And then the driver was like, sorry, we didn't see you. And I'm like, next time, can you slow down? And he was like, yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. And then the passenger comes again, tries to act a little tough because him and his two gay friend, him and his boyfriend are in their, like, $100 car. And he was like, 
you ain't gonna do anything. And so I had the choice of saying, well, why don't you get out of your car and we can settle this. I, I couldn't have done that. But at the other hand, I didn't know what he had in his car. He couldn't have had a gun, a bat, or whatever. So it was rather just say, just walk away and let it all fly by. Or it was rather try to act tough and get shot. I pulled the safe way because I didn't want to get shot. Two full grown men. And I'm not saying that I want to back down at that point. If, if, if someone ought to try to jump me, I'll kick their fucking ass. No matter how big they are, no matter how tough they are. I will fight no matter what, dude. Like, I will take every single punch. Because I'm that kind of a person to never back down. And so... Um, and so, that was that. And so, the guy just left. And I was like, did that really just happen? Like, th did I almost get shot or jumped by two full-grown men? Two gay men? And it was like, oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> It was so like it was so weird. Like the the driver seemed pretty cool and chill, but the other dude just seemed like he had a dildo up his ass or something. He was just acting all butthurt, and I'm like, bro, you, first of all, you're gonna get pleasure from saying all this to a 16 year old. You're trying to act all tough to a 16 year old. Like, bro, be the adult in this situation and act like a damn man that you're supposed to be like. And it's like so disappointing, like people in these days, they're, they're like that. It's like you take pleasure from kind of kicking around a little kid. I'm not, like, some adults, I guess I'm little because of the age wise. But it's like, bro, if you had to come at me, bro, I'd kick your butt. I will kick your butt, dude. Don't even test me. And I couldn't have gone hit, jumped, shot, even at the worst, died, okay? And keep this in mind, you guys. All for batteries. It was all for batteries. All I needed was two AA batteries. I was like, what the hell? And my mom wouldn't even let me drive. If I would have been able to drive, none of that would have happened. It's like, come on. And I told my mom that. She didn't even care. Like, it was like nothing. I'm like, I almost died. So that was the video. That That's really been it. Me almost being shot. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace. Have a happy Christmas. And that's been it, guys. Awesome, May Signing off. Peace.